Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial we will be creating a JavaScript function that will allow the user to uh, select an option from a drop down menu and it will change an image corresponding to that drop down option. Okay, um, I'll show you our finished project which will be able to change the image corresponding to what we have in here. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and move back and I'm going to go into PHP Designer and create a new HTML file. I'm going to go ahead and change a couple things here. Okay. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is uh, start out by uh, creating the JavaScript. We're not going to actually complete the function until we move on to creating the HTML which we will correspond with the JavaScript in a later time. Okay, so to start JavaScript uh, coding, we need to specify the script tag and a parameter which is called language. Using language will tell the HTML document that we are coding in JavaScript and not VBScript or any other language that is easily created in HTML like this. So just like in PHP, a JavaScript, a JavaScript function is created by typing the word function in our function name. Uh, we're going to call this function name JS dropdown and we're going to specify three parameters inside of the open and closing parentheses. These parameter parameters will be used um, to change the image successfully. So here we're going to call the image ID which we will correspond uh, when we change the option that it will tell what image to change and what image not to change. Okay, um, and then we're going to do uh, the folder of the image so um, in case you have more than one way of doing this um, you can have folders corresponding with images and we're going to call this new image which will actually be the new image that we're changing it into so now we're going to we're done with that part and I'm going to go ahead and create a little table here Okay, and the table, and we'll open a. Okay, and we'll create a new uh, table cell here. This will include the drop downs. Um, so, like we have in here, we or in the example I showed you, foods, and um, select name equals foods or food. We're going to stop there. We're not going to create any JavaScript events just yet. Okay, now we're going to specify our options. I had steak, lemon, and lime. So we're just going to use those three um, options unless you really want me to do an, a different one. Just so you can so I am not um, recreating the script like I have before. Okay, um, so if we go item list and we'll select pear um, and broccoli. We'll, we'll keep steak because that's our uh, set one for now. So we have steak. Option value equals pear. Add that. And option value equals broccoli. However you spell that. Okay, I just want to make sure I spelled that correctly. Two C's, okay. All right, and we will end the select here, and we'll add a break, and we'll do plushies instead of books. So select name equals plushies, okay, and option value equals. So we'll go ahead and find a plushie here. Okay, we have the user icon plushies. So we have user underscore icon plushie, user, user icon underscore plushie, user icon plushie, okay, we'll do mine and Matt, Marcus, oh, I gotta make sure I'm doing this one correctly. Yep. So Marcus Icon Plushy. We'll have that. 
in Matt icon plushie. The values I'm giving these uh, these options on the drop down list are the actual file names without the extension. This will um, be in realization when I complete it. All right, and now we have to specify an image. So we'll go ahead and create image source equals images items food steak. PNG. And we're going to specify an ID for this, like we up did up here in image ID. This ID will be corresponded to what we call when we change the drop, the, the option on the drop down list. So we're going to call this CFL. And we'll go ahead and close this. We're going to save this as JSTUT. Go ahead up here and refresh. And OK. Oops. It's just food. Save. Refresh. Nothing changes just yet. Now we're going to go ahead and write the function in JavaScript. Okay, um, inside the curly braces here, um, I have a tab. And uh, we're basically going to change the image corresponding to the image ID, the folder, and the new image name. So um, to basically get this ID to work with this, we're going to select the whole document by typing document and then a period, and then type get element by ID. Note the E in element is uppercase, the B in by, and the I in ID are all uppercase. And um, now that we have image ID, we can use this in realization. And we're going to type source, dot source which will change the source of the image to this. So dot .src and we're going to do equals and we'll put communifold.com slash images slash items stop and the quote and add a plus sign. Now that we have folder we do plus folder plus then we'll have another slash here we'll do plus new image plus dot png semicolon which is not necessary. We'll get and save it, and uh, you'll see it doesn't do anything just yet because we have no event handler. Okay, we're gonna go back to the PHP Designer here, and uh, in the select uh, the drop-down creation here, um, we're gonna add a JavaScript event handler, which is uh, on change. So uh, when any when the user uh, changes the option on the list, it will correspond with our JS drop down function here. So inside here we're gonna do we're gonna type our function out like this. We're gonna identify the the values inside of the function here. So the image ID which we have is C full. And here we'll put a comma and our folder here which is food. Okay and um, the image is this dot value. Remember, look at there's no quotes around the this dot value. This is because we're actually selecting the value of this select drop down list. If we put it in quotes, it'll actually try to change it to this dot value. We'll do the same thing for here. So JS, oops, on change equals JS drop down C full. And now this is plushies, we're defining a different folder here. And this value, we'll keep it the same. Go ahead and save, and we'll go ahead and test it. Refreshing the page. Change to a pair. Okay, we obviously have that um, item wrong. So we'll go ahead and... Item list. We'll go ahead and find broccoli. Open. Okay, right here. Save it. And we'll go back here. Steak, broccoli. There you have it. Now we'll change it with the plushies. There's mine. There's Matt's. And there's the user icon. Simple as that. And I uh, hope you found this tutorial um, helpful. Um, 
this video will be available in high definition. Um, you will find the link in the video description of this. And if you like my videos and you wish to receive uh, my videos as I upload them, feel free to subscribe to me. If not, go ahead and comment or rate the video. Thank you.